Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with heaven when I sit in the early morning hours to do recordings so there's no sound of moving by traffic or loud college campus people or obnoxious maintenance people. I'm really not worried, but I am marveled at how people get away with their lies. I just was blessed by a professional black woman with a little gifting to the ministry. So what I chose to do was to take that money up to the Circle K, which is located at <coughs> First and Green, and apply my money to that company. I've been loyal to that company because of the kindness that a couple employees paid to me when I first got here almost a year ago. And I do my best to practically shop there at least every other day when I have the funds to do so because they have pretty marvelous food and they have very reasonable prices on many things that a man like me can tolerate eating with all my allergies. And I usually am treated with kindness. What I did was place my money on the counter, but before I got a chance to get all the pocket change out of my pocket to finish out the till and get the $10 back that I wanted from the 20 after spending $10 there, I placed 63 cents on the counter towards a 47 cent overage on a $10 bill. People in the industry knows what that means. It was $10.47 sale and I wanted to give her pocket change so I'd get $10 back. So what I did was place the money on the counter and realize that I could make it by giving her the 52 cents. What she proceeded to do was pick up all the money, 63 cents, and put it in the drawer. Now either this is a woman who's a marvelous liar or she's an incredible thief or she's just foolish about the counting of money. It was clearly 63 cents that she picked up and I simply made the gentleman's request as most people of my affluence, influence and education would of, did I give you enough pocket change in order to try to cue her in with the social nuance of she has picked up too much change and should be giving me back. During the process of me taking money out of my pocket, I marvelously seemed to have dropped a single dollar bill that I had earlier today that I had not marvelously used yet. And what I didn't realize at that moment of time that I was missing that bill. I went outside, I continued to do what I always do in support of that shop as I eat my food before I peter, peter and, and practically walk away from the shop. What I recognized when I was thinking about my next purchases for the day after the days at other places open closer to seven, eight o'clock in the morning that I was missing my dollar. Interestingly enough, what I heard in the midst of my eating was some this woman named Liz, who's on their night shift, shouting my name out the front door. However, I wasn't really in the mode at that moment with food in my face to get up and go clarify that because my thought is anyone chasing me down should have looked both ways to do so. Whether she was trying to return it or not, I don't know, but I went back inside after I finished my hot food that I'd heated in their great microwave and I basically said, did I possibly drop my dollar? I got a no at the register and that's fine, but I'd really like to see what the videotape showed. During the time that I was there, a gentleman that I am somewhat familiar with came inside and I'll talk about that in the next audio cast.